Hi everybody, I'm Pastor Susan and welcome to day four of our week-long devotional series, Crossroads, as we are looking at how shall we be in the midst of those times of disruption, those times of uh, change, those times of struggle, uncertainty, um, those times when we need to remember who we are and whose we are as children of God. And today I want us to uh, take a look and think about wisdom and also um, trust. What does it mean to trust in God as we look at Proverbs? Uh, the Proverbs are a series of, I loved it when I was in seminary, the, a, a series of pithy sayings, wisdom sayings. They're really short, uh, but they are packed with insight and wisdom and uh, truth. And so uh, listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 8. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own insight. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes, Fear the Lord. Turn away from evil. It will be a healing for your flesh and a refreshment for your body. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Um, that is a hard thing to do, especially in times when we find ourselves at the crossroads. But the crossroads call us to make a decision, right? The decision of whether we're going to rely on our own insight or we are going to trust in God. Um, don't lean on to your own understanding. That means to be open to God's leadership in our lives and also the community of faith. Um, as we surround ourselves with others with whom we trust um, and that we see God working in their lives, we uh, need to know we don't have to carry all of that. Um, ourselves. So trust in the Lord. Um, don't lean into your own insight. In all your ways, acknowledge God and God will direct your paths. Uh, I love that, that as we trust in God, God will show us the way. Uh, how do we know that? Well, we have to lean into that. We lean into that by spending time with God, listening, being intentional. Before we jump into something, really discerning uh, what God is calling us to be and to do. Um, it, the scripture continues to say, don't be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from all evil. Fearing the Lord, as we've talked about before, is about um, revering God, putting God first in your life. It doesn't mean to be afraid of God. It means to trust God and to seek God. And if we do that, there is a promise. It will be healing for your flesh and a refreshment for your body. You know, we are in this year of sabbatical. And for all of us, this idea of refreshment or replenishment comes from deepening our relationship with God. And so my prayer for us today is that we will learn to trust more fully and know that God is at work in our lives. May it be so. May we open ourselves to the God who promises to give us guidance, who promises to be with us, who promises to offer us a future and a hope, who promises, if we will trust, to show us a different way. Amen and amen. Amen.